What's going on, everybody? Lambo here. Uh, I just want a big, a big shout out to Garrett Plays, uh, Spencer TV, Punk Dylan, and the squad for just blowing it up right now uh, with this map. I appreciate it. Cool to see all the quirks that I can fix and stuff. So I'm going to go over some of the animation triggers because I keep watching them play it and they walk right past it or they say, oh, that'd be cool if that was animated, and it is. Um, so the first one I think Garrett Plays showed, it's right here. It's raised lift, and actually what this does is it lowers this gate down, and it raises this container to expose this. There's a switch on the, in there that allows the sky crane to operate. But I press this, and that starts opening, and I actually just changed the XML to speed that up a bit because it goes retardedly slow. Um, but it lifts this up, and it exposes the tr trigger so you can actually... Uh, activate the lift gate and I'm gonna lift all this up to about eye level right about here uh, but this guy now the helicopter and I'm still working on animations and sounds <laughs> um, so you, you can basically put pallets in here we're gonna be doing some mining out of this there's gonna be some mining back in this area once I get going some more um, but let's say you have a pallet or a okay, this car right now <coughs> you want to throw it in there, you'll come over here and it says sky crane container to sh uh, to chateau. And when you very first get the mod, um, all the animations are gonna be like in a weird state. Uh, so in order to fix all that, like this is all back out, back backwards right now, chateau to pier is what it's supposed to say. So you just tap it and this is the first time you ever do the map, you just gotta set your animations basically. So now the animation's set, and it says Sky Crane Container to Pier. So I already got that loaded up, and I gave enough delay that I haven't been successful at being in the container and going, uh, but I also haven't tried it too much with a vehicle. Uh, so we'll go Sky Crane to Pier. And if you hurry, you can get in there, but the collisions with the environment, they don't affect you as much, and you can't hear the helicopter inside this at all. They don't affect you uh, in a week. You know, it's kind of different. Uh, it might be different if you're in a vehicle. But the container basically goes up and the switch goes with it. This goes with it. Um, so, like, there's no way of calling it back here. Now, if you are looking for realism and don't close this before you call it back, or if you do close this, make sure you open it before you call it back. Otherwise, it won't look very real. And whatever you're, whatever you're shipping back and forth will, won't go through the other collisions like this helicopter will. So just a hef, FYI. And these lights animate uh, all the way up until the helicopter's almost there. And then they spaz out left and right. And then that means the animation's complete. Maybe in a second here. We'll chit-chat for a minute. Uh, I want to want to show you that and make sure we don't miss the, the spaz out moment. Come on, it's taking forever. I'm also editing this so it doesn't clip at the ground and on the way over there it hits. See, so th there's the animation that's complete now. That's the last phase of it. And then they'll lock. Like that. Animation's done. Lights are on still. Okay. <coughs> um, nope. <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I think everybody's getting sick. I heard Garrett plays getting sick too. Another animation I made: opening the door. And because I'm talking, I don't think you can hear the sounds. I'll let those guys kind of explain it more. Let you hear it. Um, but when you do it, basically, that all animates. It wasn't too hard to make. Pretty, pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoy it. But that goes into the bunker. Uh, another animation is up here. Uh, we can't use this one while you're down here. I'm going to fix that. Uh, you can use it when you're up top, but the trigger is not lowered down here yet, and I still have some building to do in this area. So, woo, doink. Okay, then we'll go up here. And I'm not going to show you all the door triggers and stuff like that, unless it's like a secret door, uh, just because you'll figure that out when you get to it. And we're probably going to animate these container doors. 
uh, next animation and you can use this one up in the tower which we'll show you in a second or down here it's the silo animation and I'm gonna make this so you're blocked from using this until you open the silo uh, but this base you can't we can't see it from here you might hear the sound I'm not sure but that but that opens the silo up and then uh, and then the launch the nuke we won't be able to see it but still got some building to do then it, it it just took off so we're gonna reset that animation so you can actually see it later we'll go worry about that later man it's super loud huh okay so next is the other car lift and this one can be accessed from up top or from here and so we'll lower the lift right now Looks like I got some train editing to do right here. Just a big map, guys, so it's a lot to do. Okay, so it lowers down, and then we'll raise the lift up. And you, like I said, you can access this one from up top here or the or the other way. And then you'll come into a room here, and eventually we'll, this is going to be like storage, and you won't really know it's here. Um, there's animation lifts up. So... Let's go upstairs really quick. This is where the control tower for the nuke launch is. And I got this from Winston, this tower. So right here, it's a little funky to get up. Wait, I'll show you. Right here, it's a little funky to get up there. But you, you, you can make it if you try really hard. Um, what's my... Can't remember what my... There you go. Okay, so now we're up here. And um, future animations, I'm going to have some more, a bunch of buttons right here, a bunch of buttons, and they'll be able to control searchlights and activate the quick response force of dudes coming out here once I figure out how to do all my spleens. Okay, and then so you come over here, and until you open the silo, I'm going to make it to where you can't access this area at all right here uh, until the silo is open. <coughs> once the silo is open, the open silo, press launch, and then you, that lifts up. <clears throat> and then here's the, the launch. And it leaves like little dark burn marks right there too. It's silly, but I had fun with it. I just wanted to see if I could do it. A little delayed. I'm working on some stuff. I'm not a professional yet. But it leaves little dark skid marks from the afterburner and stuff. Just, you know... Maybe you want to have it and just out like that exposed. I don't know. Um, next, 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 next. Any other animations besides doors? Nothing right here. Uh, oh, this this thingy. <clears throat> There's some vending machines. Um, some vending machines over here, and we'll go look at these or like gaming things. Uh, I got some of these from another map, but then I went through and I made this one because it's and it's way cooler than any of these ones. As you can see, this one's boring. This is what I originally took it from. That was super boring. Doesn't animate. Doesn't do anything. And I accidentally changed the color. That was not originally riveted metal. Okay, so come over here, and this is the one I made. Okay, right. put a little movie shader on there. I mean, it's corny i can't get video i don't know how to do video but that's the next closest thing i can do <laughs> let me know in the comments what you guys think i mean made this little bad boy that's pretty neat huh i got excited about that one uh this will be like a gaming room slash like dance hall whatever i don't know party um my bedroom's in there and then i don't know yet in here storage i'm still renovating but you guys can feel free to park your stuff in here for right now until i decide what i'm going to do in there um animations uh for up here if you want to activate this trigger from up top uh this big lift gate one go over here boing 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 okay it's right here i have those reversed it's it's hard because if you're on the ground it's lower and if you're up here i, I guess i could just change that to close close lift <laughs> um this thing will, uh, if you're in a vehicle, it'll lower you. If you get out of the vehicle, it doesn't like that sometimes. And your vehicle might stay in place until you go to get on it. 
Uh, over here, next custom animations for the map is this whole area from here, like this little area, all this green grass, just and this area I'm walking in right now, all the way up along the side, you'll see is for chickens. And these are animated to work in this area when you purchase chickens. This is a custom uh, chicken coop. Uh, it has a, has a bunch of nifty stuff. And underground of this, just so you guys know, if you spawn here, uh, you're going to end up, and I can't really fix that I take it away. If you spawn here, because I like this, it's like my secret spawn spot. Uh, it actually spawns you at the chicken coop, but the chicken coop isn't real. It's a false ground. So it'll actually spawn you in this chamber. And I haven't done anything here yet, but who knows? Maybe it'll be like my, my blast zone. I mean, bunker. I don't have a clue. Under the chicken coop. Okay. Um, let's look at some more animations that I have here. Um, we are going to animate the gate on the Chateau Lambeau, so it's a wood drawbridge where the moat is. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen that yet or not. Uh, the camping. Uh, this is a bot. This is a cell location right here, so you can sell here. And then if you go underneath this guy right here, you can actually purchase materials, uh, all dirt and concrete and that kind of stuff. And all the prices are different based off a of geological location. So if it's a pain in the butt to get up there, I hike the prices up. If it's really simple and it's close to a gravel pit or close to the sand pit, the price of it is way cheap because it's right there, uh, if that makes any kind of sense. I also, this is custom when you get the map. This is already in here. You can choose any color you want and a mixture of them. It's kind of neat um, that the JCB, and I'm fixing the crawlers. I got this off Mod Hub and I just, just tricked it out a lot. And then I made the color change, added the hitch so I can carry some additional mining equipment I'm making. And then uh, I'm doing the crawlers difference because when you turn, and this came stock when I got to it, when you turn, uh, the wheels conflict. And if you notice, I'm full throttle right now. Uh, so like in order to get around that, you have to kind of like not do such a hard turn. I mean, it works. That's That's full turn. But like the initial part is kind of a keister, but uh, yeah, that's the dude's pretty sweet. And I'm gonna do in a couple different things to it so we can mine with it. Uh, gravel pit, you can mine all this for free. Just grab it up, pick it up, go, go, go on, party with life. Uh, next animation, oh, this one's driving me nuts too. Let's, should we work down the map? Um, Okay, so there's going to be an animation at the campgrounds. I'm making a Burning Man statue that at nighttime, uh, if you bring wood there, it'll do fire, basically. You guys wanted a big camping pit, so that's where the campground is. Um, next, uh, in the caves over here, these rocks are going to be animated probably in the next update. There's a secret. If you kind of look right there, there's a little dirt path just off the drag trip. And you can access it from the drag strip. Uh, but these rock, when you walk up to it, uh, it'll activate and allow you to press the button to open it. Uh, I have not figured out automatic triggers. I haven't seen anybody use automatic triggers in FS19 yet in anything. Trust me, I've been looking. So, like, I don't think it's possible yet. Maybe there is. Somebody let me know if there is. I need to know what the, what the action. It's a stupid, like, probably 18-character code that I just need to know. I tried a couple other ones, but so everything is activated by hand. You have to get out of the vehicle and activate it until they do some updates or I learn different. So um, the F1 track, if you come here, animation, you come onto the scale, the scale works. I'm, I got this out of a map. I'm tweaking it. I'm going to make my own sign so you can weigh your race cars. If you guys want to race each other and be like, that's not fair. Your vehicle's heavier than mine. That's a way to look. Okay, uh, come in here, obviously the door animations. <coughs> uh, these lifts, I got the lift out of a map, but all the custom animations, I did. It took me a while. I think I spent like four hours on these guys. Um, but basically, and I'm sure I'm going to see these in everybody's maps pretty soon. And all their mods and stuff. So that's, it goes down. And those, those are actual collisions there. So if we look at the collision menu check this out it's actually it's not just a block that you see on most other uh most other lifts that i've seen out there this is an actual working lift with those with those lift points 
I put a couple of them around the map. I think I'm probably going to make it as a placeable for in the game. Uh, in my map only. I'm, I'm kind of done making mods, I think, for a little while besides playing around with this map thing just because it's there's a lot more to it when I make a map that I can do rather than if I just make a car mod, if that makes any kind of sense. Okay, so we can turn my collision menu off here. Um, I think we're going to animate the paint booth. It's pretty small right now. I didn't, wasn't happy with it. I found this in another map, but we're going to animate the crap out of it. Uh, all the doors animated. There's going to be a race light over here that's going to be animated as well. Let's move on to the next spot. No, oh, it saved it, darn it. I don't really care, I guess. Um, Paradise Shop. Visit here really quick. Uh, this is another sell point for mining and stuff like that. Basically, I put all these materials here just so you could test them when you first came into the map. Sell them, do whatever, but also so I could. Uh, when I make all my mods for, uh, when, when I make all these bad boys, you know, for all the different mining mods and buckets and trailers and stuff, I, I need to be able to come test it really fast. And right now, for some reason, my concrete and the sand are not working. Um, if you guys are able to pick this up, let me know. I, there's certain spots on the map that are funky and out, maybe a collision, maybe something... Um, working with other people on a map can create confusion sometimes. So I'm trying to figure out why certain spots don't work and certain spots do. So just bear with me. Um, I think that's lime over here. I have some lime posted. Don't think I'm going to leave that there. But just so I can test stuff. Uh, so that's the first cell spot. Let's go to another, another spot right here. Um, okay, yeah. So the drag strip. So, haven't really decided what I want to do more with this area. Everybody seems to have a lot, uh, not a lot of lag problems, but a wee bit of lag in this area because of all the animations already. So, I think this area might just get reorganized, but nothing else new added. Maybe some stuff subtracted just to tinder down on it. So, here's the truck animation uh, that just runs indefinitely, constantly, just rotating. I just thought it was neat. I thought it looked cool. Uh, and I am making that mod, by the way. Uh, you come into here, and these race lights do work here. So you notice reset race light. When you pull up, you have to, somebody has to get out of the car. Okay, And the race light goes uh, right here to, I think, right here. And right up here. So like this whole area... All along the trim from the, the, the middle of these dudes to the light you can reset the race light so okay so we reset the light and now you're gonna press it I don't I doubt you can hear the sounds right now racer steer marks is what it says and then my lights count down and these have worked in every video that these guys have drag raced. It's funny. This has worked the whole time. Every single person. Punk and Dylan, everybody. Um, boom. And go. It even says go at the very end. Uh, that's how the race lights work. Okay, so done with that spot. Uh, animations. Jet ski course. Jet ski's coming. I just have to finish up the mod. Uh, let's go to junkies really fast. Kind of tell you a little about it. Junkies, uh, once I introduce iron. Ooh, I got I to gotta fix that. I have iron that I'm putting in here. Uh, I will finish up junkies. Right now, junkies is just exactly that, just junk. Um, but you can come and sell here. It's the middle of nowhere, just another sell spot. Very competitive pricing. Uh, and we'll have a little junkie will be out here on his, on his porch waiting for you to sell. I'll make sure junkie's in here. All right. Uh, but, yeah, you'll be able to bring whole cars here. I have a bunch of these, like, these scrap cars and stuff like that. I'm, I'm converting into pallets and they're going to be worth value and then you'll basically haul them back uh you'll be able to strap them down on a truck and stuff like that and haul them uh out of here and kind of like how rambo 145 did it with uh, uh with his mining map with fs 17s where they spawn that's basically what's going to be happening my homie geez uh, okay next spot uh marina anything fun with the marina Another cell spot, construction site. Uh, this will be 
you know, one of those mod or one of those spots that when you bring materials here, uh, it builds it up over time. Uh, as you can see, you have a lot of materials to bring here, and there's nothing to really build up yet until we're waiting on some code from Giants. Uh, as soon as that comes out, we'll be solid and hunky dory for that. Um, kind of just blink. This is all uh, all going to be mobile, so you guys can do mo missions. There's enough grass at each location, like uh, like the cart track, the horse track, here, and so on and so forth, that you can go do mo missions. And I'm going to add some mowing missions in and stuff like that as well. Um, but there's a lot of grass on this map that you can basically, it's going to be a, see like all these areas. This, this will be a field. That'll be a field. Field. I think that little one might be a field as well that I'm going to do. And then, I don't know on the back side here yet. Maybe. Horse tracks kind of neat. We're gonna. I think we're slowly working our way over there. Slowly. Okay. So the next one's gonna be the carts. Um, we'll go over here. Uh, you show up. And you won't be able to. These gas stations I took out. Uh, they're running the air, so where I'm spawning at, you won't be able to, but I will create. This This will have a cell station here, too. Uh, they're going to buy certain things, iron, I'm not 100% sure yet. But uh, one of the animations for this area is if you come over here next to this nacho stand, you, you can hear... You can hear the animation play, well, the sound of the animation. So that's a cool little one that you probably can't hear because I have my game sound off and my voice on. This is how I record. Whee! Uh, a lot of stuff you'll notice on the map that you can, like, for example, you can run through it. Um, that's not because it's messed up. It's because I chose to do it like that. Uh, it cuts down on lag times. If you want a whole map that... Uh, with all these collisions active and stuff like that, I mean, then feel free. Uh, but go, go on and fix it yourself. But I want the map to run smooth online multiplayer, so the less static and uh, <coughs> static rigid bodies I have, <coughs> the faster the map will run. So she's just there looking off into the sunset waiting for you to show up. <laughs> Um, there's a track. I tried to make, I think it's a pretty neat track. I mean, when you go through, it's, it gives the representation that it's a racetrack. Happy with it. Okay, moving on. Um, there's some lifts over here. I already showed you the lifts, how they operate, but there is a bunch of lifts for your carts. Um, probably gonna put Punkadillons. I gotta get freaking Punkadill on a trailer. If there's anybody I miss, I'm sorry, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, the lifts activate like usual. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the lights, actually, I did the lights, too. Uh, so when you press the button, they actually... Boop! All right. Um, next area, let's go to the stables. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Okay. Probably turn it into... Now... I'm not sure on the nav mesh codes that I was supposed to use for this. I got it relatively close, but he looks like somebody's stuffing something. Ride Punka. Ride Punka Dylan. He looks like he's taking it right now, and that's not good. Uh, what's supposed to be happening is it'll happen here in a second. Just wait. And it does this from time to time because the nav mesh code is wrong. I haven't been able to find the proper code to make this, but I made this custom placeable horse riding thing. Come on. There you go. Okay, so it resets the animations, and it might do that from time to time I'll, until I figure it out. Look, Beard Shot, you're in here too. Whee! Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of... And when you very first start the map, all these horses have these names already. You start off with these horses. There's Garrett Plays. Look, man, I'm riding you. That's dirty. Okay, uh, hop over here. Now, the collisions on this don't work uh, because this is actually just a shader uh, and there's no collision in here at all so it's a visual I don't have a horse to ride right now 
Wee! Um, I might delete this, change it, whatever. I might animate later on. But until I get a continuous uh, repetition, but I mean, you could take your horse in here and technically ride in circles for hours. Now, if you want one that you could just use a controller and you use a rubber band, then these ones over here are probably going to be more for you. Let's go this way. So this is the horse race track. Walk over here. It's probably more your type right here. Uh, bring your horse over the panels. I saw this on Shy Wizard's channel, and I pulled this thing out in the blender and kind of did exactly what he did. Uh, once again, start your map. You have to reset the animation. So you walk in here, or you, you bring your horse in here, and see there's collisions on all these. Whee! Okay, so yeah, you walk in here, and basically, I, have to, I have new code that I put in here to slow this down, but I'm, it's going to be at about a trot speed, and because right now it's going too fast that it actually just goes through me, and if I do it a little slower, the collisions actually interact with me. See, because when it's going at the same speed, I can't go through it, but it'll go back here in a second. It won't be going like that. I've already fixed it. This is just that uh, I haven't updated the map yet. Um, I didn't want to do that and have it break and not be able to show you guys you know, the animation. So that's that one. Uh, I'll probably animate these two uh, so you can raise and lower them, something along those lines. Could definitely do that. I just want to animate a bunch of stuff on this map. Okay, so next... Next up, we're going to, uh, let's just go look at Dirt Dogs. So Dirt Dogs is going to be dirt and gravel. Obviously, a lot of gravel right there. Uh, or is this cracked? No, that's gravel. Uh, you'll have a really sweet, I don't know if I'm going to leave it chrome, but this, this comes with the map when you automatically start up your game. Uh, it's a JCB. Enter the vehicle, stop picking it up. Uh, but for some reason it went all chrome when only the main body is supposed to be chrome. I, I think it's just a selection uh, in my default uh, default vehicles XML I'm going to fix. But yeah, there's a cell location. I haven't really decked this area out at all yet. Um, still building upon this cave. There's my cave that I was talking about. Um, I'm still kind of building it, so I'm not going to show it off that much. Um, there's a big bridge up there and all that kind of stuff. So let's go to the glass factory now. And there's a couple different spots here, so everybody kind of knows. This is a cell location um, that will purchase these things right here, right? Coal, wood chips, diesel, and water. And right now, if you bring... A, if you bring coal or wood chips or anything like that, and you put it into here, whee, it'll pay you out. And uh, this is my newest animation. It's it's basically the heating plant. You know, I had some smoke coming up. I don't know if you guys noticed that everywhere. Whee! This is basically the heating plant modified to the max. Uh, careful, don't fall in with the wheel loader. I've done that a couple times. Oh, <laughs> what's that? Woo! Now, I built this whole area up as a plank. Once again, the animation's got to be reset. See, it's no fun when I... So, this is a little smaller. I should have made it bigger, because uh, my wheel loader will fit down there if I uh, put the bucket all the way up. Like, I have to have it straight up in the air. Uh, but you'll load your vehicle on here, and then you'll basically be lowered down to another area, um, another little platform. And another activation trigger right here. So on and so forth. Go back up here. Wee. It's gonna take forever, so let's just spawn again. Visit. Woo. Okay, so now we'll come down, just jump down here really quick. There's not any fast way to get from 
down there to up here yet. I'm still working on this trolley system right here. Uh, but eventually there will be an ability for you to uh, take one gate to the other. So there'll be another gate that lowers down right here and it'll take you up to there. And then that gate will go all the way up there. But as you can see, that's going to take a minute to build. Uh, so you come up. This gate's already set. That's cool. Okay. You come up. Here's your gate. It's a little big now. <laughs> I made it a bit too big, then I made it too small. Okay, so this brings you down here. Um, besides grabbing sand, there's nothing really to do down here yet. Uh, I'm still building in the triggers. And I'm really waiting for the M Company script to come out where you can convert things into materials. They used to call it the fabric script, but that'll be out Easter sometime. And then this whole area will be opened up. Uh, but as you can see, it goes back for a little ways here. And I have it all blocked off currently, just so Spencer TV and all them don't go exploring too deep into my map. But over here, you'll be able to basically purchase a bunch of different things, sell a bunch of different things, use a bunch of different things. And then I will have another drop gate over there. Just got to build it. Um, just double check here. Make sure I didn't miss any animations on the map currently. Um, if I did, I'm going to miss it. Oh, uh, visit. Let's go look at this really fast. All. Let's get into something awesome really fast so we can get across the map. We'll go look at the Sky Crane helicopter. <laughs> So this shows up over here. It looks like my vehicle got whacked out. Still a little bit of work to do, but you can see the concept is there. Uh, I will have this mastered eventually. Okay, so that that brought it all the way over here. Let's see if I can get my... Throw that over there really fast. Nope, nope. Get my vehicle. Let's see if it'll take this back there for me this might be too wide I don't know if it's heck yeah except these doors close really fast and I can never get in there well, I guess I could just enter it This door is closed. Oh, they totally fell out. It's tweaking out now. Does it still think I'm in the box? Let's see what it thinks. Probably one of my favorite mods I've made is my IndyCar. You can drive over all the water in this. It's just one of the things I have to do in order to be able to race jet skis. Whee! Right. Off-road. Oh! Whee! Bum, 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 Okay. Go up here. Woo! I don't know where we're going from here, guys. I think that's going to be it for animations that I have currently working on the map. Um, trying to think if I installed anything else or else plans or obviously you can cover up these pipes with some dirt. Uh, that's something you can do. Digging out this moat, it's going to take a team effort. Okay, I saw Garrett Place trying to do it. It's going to take more than just you. Uh, but this moat does go all the way around. And I kind of leveled it out right there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I watched the video, watched them play, and I leveled it out right here. That way you could actually access it, get down in here easily. And then you'll have to, I guess I'll have to do that on the other side over here. I'll have to level this out too. And then I'm currently making a whole new custom drawbridge. 
So I'll try to do my best not to edit the map too much to where you guys lose your save game. Uh, but if I do too much editing, you will lose your save game. Uh, get the game just won't load. You'll have to use the previous map if you're in love with that. Uh, but just a heads up. Man, look at all this dirt. Build this guy up. Oh, these are really high. Wee. And then it goes all the way back here. I have it all marked off. You can't, you know, hey, blocked off. Blah, 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 rocks and and then that's the end of the map. Now I have learned that you can, we can do other things that I can go off the map. So I will be building onto this world. I have not ran out of space yet. I can create more space. I've learned. So that's what we're going to end up doing. It's going to be awesome, guys. Awesome dealy dollyode. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. I will see you guys later. Let me know any other animations you think we should do. That would be uh, nifty of you. Uh, maybe from here we can build a map together. I have a lot of caves. There's a, If you look at my directly in front of me, those big pile of rocks, that's a cave. That's where the dino dig is. Um, big rock, big red rock, directly in front of it right here between us and it. Do you see those two rocks? There's a cave underneath there. Uh, there's a cave back in the corner we talked about over by Dirt Dogs. Uh, obviously, you know about my chateau. And then I'm working on an underground cave that you can't see here and I'm not going to speak of. Uh, but that's it for right now, guys. I appreciate you.